From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. More than 52,000 persons now have received their first shots of the coronavirus vaccine. Others are being encouraged by health officials to take the shot. There should not be a shortage of supply. Health Minister Wells has confirmed we should have more in country shortly. We're getting another 33,000 doses of AstraZeneca. We're supposed to get it this, by the end of this week from Pajo. And that would complete the whole 100,000 dose that we got from PAHO. And that would equate to us having received 120,000 doses of the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine. And the minister says he's almost certain that the Pfizer vaccine will be available in country before the end of the year. But no decision has been made on that yet. 28 confirmed corona cases on Sunday, just 18 Monday. Health officials hoping that trend continues as they continue to try and control the third wave. Monday's cases spread over five islands, 13 of them in the capital. Andros, Grand Bahama, Exuma, and Inagua also reported cases. Parts of Andros and the Berry Islands and Cat Island now into a two-week lockdown designed to control outbreaks in those areas. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Could be a box back summer for the cruise business. Industry officials are reporting now that the first cruises out of Florida with stops in the capital are scheduled for July 4th. The Ministry of Works now going after shantytown structures in the capital, which it says are illegally constructed, close to 30 of them. Works Minister Bannister not backing off on the shantytown policy. This weekend, I had constituents of mine in Carmichael sent me photographs showing shanty houses being constructed at a shanty town in my constituency. Another one in Tall Pines. And if you see these photographs, they're very close to the homes of legally built homes. They're going to cause challenges uh, in those communities. And the minister is encouraging persons to report the construction of those structures so they can be demolished. Life has changed for two teenage boys, 15 and 16 years old, now charged with murder and attempted murder in connection with a recent government high school stabbing incident. They're being held at the Simpson Penn Center for Boys until their next court appearance. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 72 at Freeport, 73 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, wind slight and variable, the seas 3 feet or less. Next tide is a high around 9 o'clock this evening. Thursday's forecast, mostly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. World news headlines. The U.S. reaches another milestone in the fight against the spread of the coronavirus. More than half of adults over 18 years of age, 129 million persons, are now fully vaccinated in the U.S. Coronavirus numbers dropping drastically in the U.S. as a result. A major problem off the coast of Sri Lanka. A container ship is on fire in the area and it could sink, dumping oil into the water and cause a major environmental issue there. Diplomatic efforts continue to keep that Middle East ceasefire in place. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken meeting with Egyptian officials today as part of the effort. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's soccer and Major League Baseball. Jazz on the Marlins finishing up a series for the Phillies tonight in Miami. The NBA playoffs continue tonight. Washington and Philadelphia, Atlanta on the Knicks, Memphis and Utah, all games two in their series. John Quell and the Sun off tonight in the WNBA. Next game at home on Friday against Washington. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. 
And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.